everyone has dignity in that they are fulfilling the duty that God has assigned them. And consequently, what we see here is the seeds of a pro-worker work ethic, the sign of the work ethic that I think Weber neglected, although it is there in the texts. We have then the elements of a pro-worker work ethic, namely an insistence on the dignity of all workers, even the most menial, that every calling must consist in meaningful work, or as Baxter put it, honest laborers profitable to the Commonwealth. Uh, these citations, CD stands for the Christian direct Directory, Baxter's magnificent five-volume comprehensive guide to Christian ethics. Okay, that kind of dignity and egalitarian approach is not going to come primarily from work. That comes naturally from a tribal or national identity. Right? There's an inherent egalitarianism to a nationalist perspective. Right? If you believe that you're part of the same extended family, you will be much more likely to treat other people with dignity. So all the things that this woman and, and lefties who, who believe in uh, maximum human flourishing and well, self-authentication from, from work, right? people are much more likely to find these things from, from a national, religious, tribal commitment.